who said Valentine's Day is all about love and romance. Clearly, it's all about AI news. In case you've been living under a rock, this week has been explosive in AI. OpenAI dropped a bombshell about their upcoming video model, Sora, sparking waves across the internet. This revelation has overshadowed other significant developments like Google's Gemini upgrade, Stability AI's new image model, and even more news from OpenAI. So buckle up as we dive into the AI news avalanche you might have missed last week. First off, Sora. OpenAI's latest marvel is taking the internet by storm, and everyone has an opinion on it. Is it the pinnacle of innovation? or the next step of the AI job apocalypse. While Sora's capabilities are undeniably impressive, creating jaw-dropping visuals that could easily be mistaken for human work, it still can't replicate the control of traditional film sets. Despite that, its ability to blend concepts into surreal visuals like a naval battle on your morning coffee showcases the wild future of AI-generated content. Some experts even think that the model might have been trained with volumetric data from Unreal Engine to give it a better understanding of 3D physics. Meaning, this model isn't just pixel pushing, it's crafting dynamic simulations where physics is simulated accurately. The model is able to generate videos not only from text prompts, but also from images and even blend videos together seamlessly. The model can even go as far as simulate gaming content as seen here with this Minecraft video. It's almost seamless. But why stop there? OpenAI's ambition didn't just end with revolutionizing video content. They also tried to trademark GPT, a move that the US Trademark Office has denied. Seems like we can all slap GPT onto our products in hopes of that smart, marketable edge. But wait, there's more. OpenAI announced further enhancements to ChatGPT boosting its memory for a more personalized experience. Now, if you mention your child's love for jellyfish, expect a birthday card designed swimming with them when you ask for one six months later. If you're concerned about ChatGPT knowing too much, fear not, you can amnesify it by toggling memories off or on, as well as pick through its brain to help it forget those secrets you shared after midnight. Much like certain black-suited men used to do in the early 2000s if you learned about aliens. On the topic of long memories, overshadowed by the release of Sora hours after it was announced, Google's unveiling of Gemini 1.5 comes barely a week after its rebranding from BARD. Dubbed Gemini 1.5, it's promised a bang with GPT-4 level performance, 1 million token context window, and a Sherlock Holmes-like ability to sift through a novel's worth of content. That's right, you can now feed Gemini almost the entire works of Harry Potter and ask it to find exactly what Ginny was wearing on this particular book on this particular paragraph. This could make Gemini the go-to app for hunting down those pesky narrative inconsistencies without having to binge marathons. I personally have not had a chance to play with 1.5 yet, but if I do, expect a deep dive on it soon. If you're enjoying these updates into this AI-driven brave new world, smash that like and subscribe button. It helps more than you know. Now, Stability AI wasn't going to let OpenAI hog all the limelight with its launch of Sora, unveiling its own groundbreaking model, Stable Cascade, which showcases the prowess of the Wurstein architecture. Unlike previous models, Stable Cascade works in a much smaller latent space, allowing for quick and efficient high-quality image creation on less powerful machines. That's right, your potato can now run Stable Diffusion. For reference, it can compress a 1024-1024 image into a 24x24 latent space. That is almost a 10x reduction in storage. This means that model sizes should be significantly smaller or contain a lot more reference data. Stable Cascade also efficiently compresses and reconstructs images, making it a game changer for creators and developers by offering high quality results with less computational demand. It uses a three-stage process that ensures detailed prompt aligned images, marking a significant advancement in accessible AI technology. This technology also seems to provide a significant improvement on the creation of hands and feet, something that sometimes veered into Lovecraftian horror. If my deep dive into this is out by the time you watch this, you can click here. If not, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see how Stable Cascade performs. We'll be testing it out soon with Animate Diff to see if it not only can produce an improvement in image creation, but also animation on less powerful hardware. 
Barely a week after the FTC declared deepfake robocalls to be illegal, it aims to expand the law to include making it illegal to use generative AI to provide any goods and services that may harm users through impersonation. This is due to an overall increase in scam attempts using generative AI, including online romance scams, employee impersonation to steal cash, and other forms of false information spread. This comes just in time too, with the FTC looking to protect us from digital heartbreakers. More and more companies are not content to let NVIDIA hold the lion's share of the AR hardware market. Not to be upstaged by Sam Altman's trillion dollar hardware focused fundraising campaign, SoftBank's Maya Yoshi Son throws his hat into the ring as he hopes to raise a hundred billion dollars to start developing AI chips as well. While a hundred billion is a long throw from Sam Altman's seven trillion, with SoftBank's experience in technology, it may be enough to get them started, creating another competitor hoping to chip away at Nvidia's dominance. Not to be threatened, Nvidia released a new version of its AI-centric RTX ADA series with the ADA RTX 2000, which provides an architectural and memory update to its Enterprise A2000 series by bumping up the VRAM from 12 gigs to 16 gigs. However, while priced at $649, it's touted as a more affordable AI powerhouse, but the level of performance you get is baffling for the price, especially when compared to the slightly more expensive RTX 4070 Ti, which seems to beat the RTX A2000 in all major AI-related benchmarks, as well as gaming ones, providing a significant better bang for your buck. Nvidia also launched Chat with RTX, its own competitor to ChatGPT, allowing you to chat with large language models locally on your computer using their Chat with RTX software. Soon, your iPhone apps may be written by an AI. Apple is working on an AI tool similar to Copilot intended to help developers write apps for its Apple platforms, and it could be included in the next version of Xcode. This could be a boon for aspiring iPhone and Vision Pro developers, as it further lowers the barrier to entry to developing apps. Now, you can actually develop and publish that great app idea you're always pitching at the dinner table. Now the only thing left is if Siri could get a little smarter. You gotta catch up Siri, although knowing Apple, that will probably come in the next iPhone Pro Max Ultra insert Apple fancy marketing name here, 16. And in other AI news, Clubhouse, the live audio app popularized during the pandemic that gave way to Twitter Spaces and Spotify Greenroom, has announced its own suite of AI tools. Clubhouse will allow you to create a custom model based on your own voice, which you can then use to send messages to friends. The app will read out the messages in your custom voice that you created, allowing you to be heard when all you can do is type. Salesforce adds generative AI to Slack. In line with the industry trend of fancy names for their AI bots, Slack has named their tool, wait for it, Slack AI. Using large language models, Slack AI comes built with search and summary capabilities, making the arduous task of finding that one extremely important task that your boss asked you to do two weeks ago but can't remember a breeze. Hilariously, an anatomically incorrect pictures of a mouse tender regions was published in a scientific journal on stem cells. The journal used AI-generated diagram from Midjourney, but was obviously not checked for accuracy as the image presented an incredibly well-endowed furry miscreant, with just as ridiculous labels as testum cells and lolutin sergotokmar cells. Well, at least rat is labeled correctly. Cohere AI, a non-profit research lab revealed Aya, an open source large language model covering 101 languages. This is significantly more than most large language models whose focus is predominantly English. The large language model is meant to address availability of LLMs in other languages, with the model having been trained on less common languages and could be a boon for dying languages. The breadth of this model could present incredible opportunities for translation, but also for research, as it not only has an extensive library of language literature and its source material, but also knowledge of a historical and cultural nature. The model includes up to 50 languages that are not even covered by any kind of AI model, such as Somali and Uzbek. And on the topic of foreign language LLMs, the Epic Foundation releases a counterpart to Samsung Galaxy's S24 AI phone, with dubbed the Milky Way. Like the S24, the Milky Way tablet is powered by an AI, in this case Bharat GPT, an Indian version of ChatGPT. The tablet will be able to do real-time speech translation and allow you to chat with the Indian large language model natively on the platform. 
The tablet is intended for students and manages to have AI features despite having a relatively conservative spec sheet with only 4 gigs of RAM and 64 GB of storage. And that's all the AI news for the week. Did I miss anything? If so, please highlight it in the comment section below. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel out incredibly. And if you like this news roundup, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter below. We'll be sending out our first newsletter right after this video. Finally, if you want to support the channel in the best possible way, please check out our Patreon, where you can support the channel financially, or you can check out some of the awesome new merch available below this video. Thanks, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.